What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be making a shotgun shell American flag. You got to have red, white, and blue shotgun shells obviously, uh, some one by material, and you know some saws and stuff. I've already done some of the work my, uh, off camera, like cut the wood to length, and I also trimmed a little bit off this about a half inch. I've already made one of these. So, I learned what I did like and didn't like from the first one. So, I decided to make it just a little bit shorter or skinnier because I didn't like the way it looked. So, the next step is going to be sanding this stuff down. I bought a pocket hole jig, so we're going to screw it together with pocket holes. And I guess I'm going to show you the process from here on out. I didn't think you needed to see the wood being cut. So let's get to it. So this is how I've decided to lay it out. Instead of cutting each corner at a 45, I just butt the sides up. This is the piece I took off. It's about three quarters of an inch, not half inch. Um, so now I'm just going to pretty much sand up these three or four pieces. I don't know why I said three with uh, 220 grit then I'm gonna put it in the pocket hole jig which is right there put pocket holes from this into this that way it's held together you could glue it if you wanted to or whatever else but I bought this pocket hole jig there from Home Depot for 100 bucks I guess it was so I'm ready. I like it, so I'm gonna use it. You could also use this and glue it, but let's get the sanding. All right. So if you're wondering, the short pieces are about 17 and a quarter, and the long pieces are about 19 and a quarter. Once you line up all your shells, you could use 410 shells or 20 gauge or 12 gauge. Doesn't really matter. You could just adjust those sizes to that now if you've ever, if you've never used a pocket hole jig you don't have to do this step but it if you have one just read the instructions it'll tell you what to do and then you just drill into it and then it makes you a nice little uh little holes in it this one didn't go enough this is supposed to have a hole down here, so I'll, I'll reset that, but that's the, the gist of it. Alright, so now we got the long pieces cut with pocket holes. Make sure you pay attention because I was supposed to only do that to the long ones, but I started out with the short piece, as you can see. But, it'll just end up looking like this for no reason. So it's not a big deal, nobody looks at the back of it anyway. Now what we're going to do is take the table saw and we're going to notch out along one side so they can put thin piece of wood, which is over there, as the back. That's what the shotgun shells are going to be glued to. Now if you don't want to get shotgun shells, you buy shotgun shells and you shoot them. I mean... You can buy red, white, and blue kit ones that come in a box. Or you can go on Etsy or something like that if you don't want to shoot and you just want to make projects. You can find them there. I looked on, I looked to see if you could find some, which you can. You can buy 10, 20, whatever. You're going to need quite a bit for this project though. So you better get to shooting. So basically what I've done is run the table saw blade down it like that I don't know how well you can tell but it basically put like a quarter inch little notch in it so now I'm gonna lay it flat take another pass and take off this little edge right there off and that's what the flat piece over there is gonna sit to that's what the shotgun shells are gonna glue to and then we can start assembling it Okay, so the only downfall of doing it the way I did is there's a little bitty 
groove that goes all the way to the end. Ideally, I'd like it to stop there. Maybe if I bought a router or something, that would make it better. Now, I got one inch screws. I should probably have three quarter inch screws to screw into this. On a test piece I did, it kind of cracked this one when screwing into this. So I got a little bitty pilot drill bit that I'm just going to screw in ever so slightly. Just like that. Then I'm going to take the special screws that you are supposed to buy with the special bit with the puck hole jig and pretty much that's all it is right there now you don't want to over tighten it that's why it's probably best to glue this joint too uh, I've got it clamped down to the table that way it doesn't move and my stuff stays nice and straight so now we're gonna move on to all four corners and you don't need to see that four times so I'll catch you on the next step. So you may or not be able to tell, but it is not perfect, which is fine. This is just a project to get out of the house and do something. Now, my saw here is old and janky. You can tell how it's, I think it's fallen out of a truck at one point. Um, the fence back here doesn't really, it's not even straight either. Part of the reason why I didn't show you cutting the wood also this thing is pretty old and janky too this doesn't slide well when you feed through here it catches so kind of pain in the butt but it's what I got and I'm not spending money on new stuff you could do this stuff other ways but just what I got so if you've done it right you should have a nice little groove all the way around um, you go measure that cut it out of that the only thing that I don't really like about it is like I was saying this comes all the way down here. If you had a router or something just came in right here and routed across that edge, it would be fine. Here's the mistake I was talking about. I put the pocket holes in the wrong end, but that's doesn't matter. I mean, they even sell these things to put down in there at a little wedge. But I'm not worried about it because that goes against the wall. So next, I'm, I'm going to mark this like I was saying, cut it out of that, and then I'll show you that. I'm probably going to cut it out with a jigsaw. Alright, so if you've done it right, it should fit right in the groove, which it does. Alright, so there is our picture frame slash um, shotgun shell frame thing, whatever. At this point now, I'm going to sand it back down with 220 or so. But some of these have just a little bit of a lip that you can fill with your finger. It's probably just like not perfect wood or maybe it wasn't held completely down. But that's what the clamps are supposed to try and keep it flat. Um, the little gaps in the corner you can fill with wood putty. I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to be dark stain anyway. So you won't see it, but you can pretty much do whatever you want. Okay, so as you can see, or may not see, I have no idea what you can see. Or if you could tell. But this has got clear on it now, the first coat. I decided not to put clear on this. And really, you don't even have to stain it. I just stained it just in case you can see through any of the shotgun shells. But you can't, mostly so you're going to want to do several coats again read the uh, directions on the can and sometimes if it comes out rough you can scuff it up with 220 or higher in between coats and that should be good but next we're going to take these extra shotgun shells i have go over there to the bandsaw cut the tip off just at that ridge right uh, it's not going to do it right there. I'm going to cut that off so that it'll look like this. And we'll glue them in each corner. 
Okay, so now that you've cut it on the bandsaw and crawled around the floor to find it, it will be a little bit rough, like it'll actually cut you at this point. You need to clean that up. I've got a belt sander. If you've got something else, you can use something else. But basically what I'm going to do is turn it upside down on the table, turn it on, put it on here and hold it with my fingers. Sometimes it goes shooting across and you have to find it again. Uh, just do it lightly because it's going to get hot and burn you if you're not careful. So let's try it. Light pressure is all it takes. And it should look like that nice and smooth once you get through. And then you'll have just the head of the shotgun shell to glue to your workpiece, which you can do one in each corner. Okay, so this is the finished product, sort of. We've got the end of shotgun shells in each corner, which you can put as many as you want. And none of these are glued down, and I because I, that's boring, you don't need to see that. And plus, I want to show you what you could do to customize it. I have these pink shells, which they don't they don't match. These shells are a little bit short and they're not brass. So I'd like that to match if I was going to leave this. But you could do a breast cancer awareness themed one if you would like. These are also not been shot yet. So I'd like to shoot them first. But I also made this flag. i still thinking about putting some type of plaque down here at the bottom of both of these that say God bless America or something like that. But that is it for the video uh, I hope you like it I tried to be a little bit more in depth and talk a little bit more in this video because some people complain that it's not I don't know whatever I don't really carry the way so if you like it hit the like button comment some other ideas or what you would have done differently or if you like the breast cancer awareness uh, ones they are actual breast cancer awareness shells so that's cool um gotta support the boobies but anyway make sure you subscribe all that i'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers i meant like 9,000, something like that 10,000 would be awesome by my birthday which is not too far away so i don't think it's gonna happen but we'll see so peace out and i'll catch you on the next one